Southeast Texas closes out its 60th season celebration with a large orchestra, soloist, and two choruses. Tom Wright shows us what to expect at the concert this Saturday. It's the final show for the 60th season of the Symphony of Southeast Texas. They promised a big season. They're going to end it with a big bang with this as maestro Chelsea Tipton. And we have a very crowded stage. We have a big stage. Look at all these people. <laughs> Isn't that like 150 people here on stage? It's fabulous. Well, what's going on? What well, are we, why do we have so many people? We have, we're doing the Carmina Burana by Carl Orff, which is just a fantastic cantatas in three sections. Um, lots of percussion, lots of brass. We have a, a soloist. We have a, a children's chorus. We have the wonderful Symphony of Southeast Texas chorus. So we're just really happy about, and it's a great way to kind of conclude our 60th season here with the orchestra. 60 years of continuous music in our community. Well, you wanted to make the season inclusive, and so the more the more folks you get involved, the more people might come and see what you guys are doing. Well, you know, it used to be the Beaumont Symphony, but we changed the name to the Symphony of Southeast Texas because we want to reach out into all the different areas, whether it's Nederland, whether it's Orange, uh, um, uh, Port Arthur, it doesn't matter. We're the, the orchestra for this region, so we really want to invite people to come and, and be a part of our experience. Okay, you uh, you're gonna play something. We're for gonna, us? This is what probably is the most famous of all the pieces from this uh, from this cantata. You probably heard it in movies or in commercials. It's called O Fortuna. Okay, we hear a little bit yes, of this. Please. Here we go. All right. Here we go. 